Shed Diaries. Shed there was gifted to me for a freebie in return for a little favour. It does need a little bit of work which we'll cover over the coming days or weeks on this project. So join me in converting one communal garden shed into a brew shed. Well, day one of the brew shed build. Excuse any wind noise that you might get over the microphone, it's quite blurry today. Although it is clear at the minute. So we're taking advantage of the short break in sunny weather as opposed to rainy weather. Here we have the shed base. Turned upside down. The wood framework is not the best. It's a cheap shed, made cheaply. So we're going to beef it up some two by threes. Nailed to the existing framework. Then we'll go from there. Well, why nail? When you can use a gun.
Okay, so that's the six floor beams reinforced with new treated timbers. Should beef it up. Next we're going to flip it over and just put some extra nails into the new beams through the floor just to stop it moving about a little bit more. Okay, so that's the actual footprint of the shed, which is six foot wide and eight foot long. There is a little bit of damage just down there. I'm gonna probably resheet this anyway because the floor is quite thin. And uh, if I start stacking all the bear in there, it could get quite heavy. Well, shed base time is going there in that muddy lump of soil which needs levelling off. Bollocks to that, that's hard work. I've got a better idea.
well it beats doing it by hand. Well, now we've finished playing with the uh, digger, leveled the ground off. I've got some slabs just to sit the timbers on and level it up, which will be the next stage. Okay, you can see the treated beers that I replaced on an earlier episode. And we've set the slabs in that the beams will sit on and to see how level they come. They need packing out. <clears throat> we can just use some old slate or tiles. What I would normally do if this was a permanent or um, going in for a lot longer period of time shall we say, but I would use three by three fence posts running all the way across, probably five, two there, two there and one down the middle and run it and sit it on those and then the posts on top of the slabs just to give you more height and a rigid strut all the way across which you can see just about there on the shed behind which is on 3 by 3s on 3 by 3s and they're just flush with the soil but they are sitting on concrete slabs and that shed weighs well over a ton and a half Right, time to lay the base. Well, that's the base laid down on the slabs. Seems pretty solid. Good enough for government work, as they say. There is a little bit of movement, but that's mainly when I'm standing in between the bearers. I think I might be doing my weight. Makes it curl up at the end. Not much. As I said, we're going to reinforce the floor and we've got to allow for a little bit of settlement with the weight of the sides of the shed to come on, which will be in our next segment. And we've got Mr. Smiley come along to have a look. No doubt he'll leave a little present on here for this morning. Well, the first two sections are down the bottom. We've got the end section and the side. I've just given them a lick of wood preserver, filled any little nooks and crannies in. So I don't want to sort of go to the trouble of replacing loads of parts on the tongue and groove. I think the other side I will have to do the bottom two sections though. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, time to get the first two sides in. Well that's the first two sections in. No dramas. Um, I've had to brace it across the top, being as I'm putting it in on my own. And a brace down there just to keep it upright. Normally I wouldn't screw the bottom in until I've got all four sides in and I can square the, the building up. But due to the fact that I am working on my own, and we do get the odd gust of wind coming around, I have just put them in for now if I need to just square the building up when... Uh, the other two sides are in. It's just a matter of unscrewing them and uh, jostling it round, but they're flush against the floor. So hopefully, first two in, next two to go. Well, section three's in. Got the brace across the top now just to hold it. But this one, I took the glass out. Bit of sunlight there. So the frame's a little bit rotten and I don't like just the plain greenhouse type glass. Breaks too easy. Rattles in the wind. And it leaks. Needs a little bit of work. I may put twin wall in or um, I've got an aluminium frame window I might be able to fix in. And we have got dried out and shrunk and there's a gap and the only way to sort that out would be to take them all off and put them all back in again and they ain't going to come out without breaking because they're all nailed in with an air gun and the bottom two are a little bit rough if I've got any of this timber 
yeah that one's right through there so we'll definitely have to change that one possibly the second one but not a major drama I can get the frame up today but uh, this one we'll just have to seal up so I'm not going to strip this all side out and redo it right let's go and get this last bit in. well there we are the final side is in and screwed up and down so door roof and something for a window and a little bit of repair work to do unfortunately that's it for me until the weekend weather permitting as they say and the roof will need a little bit of work so join me next time on brew shed build hmm